In this episode of a mobile home makeover, we finish the baseboards and begin to caulk them. We replace the vent covers and we stick down some self-adhesive flexible cord around. The freezing frost has painted all the trees white. Did I say freezing frost? I meant freezing fog. Starting in the baseboards in the back, got to do some cutting away uh, stuff in the corner here. Some of the baseboard pieces need to be cut special to fit over objects. Here I'm cutting one. Get this back in here. Oh boy, that's not even gonna fit. I wound up using two pieces. Surprisingly complex of you. A little cock right there. The primary bathroom is done. Oh, and I'm gonna put down a flexible glue on this strip right here. I caulked here yesterday. This is the last piece. Still needs a little bit of adjustment. Alright, I glued in. Oh shit! I thought I was done. <laughs> so not done. I thought I was done with putting this little piece in, but actually I still have two closets to go. Okay, now I think I'm really done. I still have a couple pieces of glue in to do, but that's gonna wait till tomorrow. Oh, that'll be a good one, babe. Next up in this uh, crazy adventure is this flexible self-adhesing quarter round. I'm going to watch some... I don't know what I'm going to do. Give it an experiment, maybe. Or just go for it, I'm not sure. I've been looking at this section, and I think it's bothering me, and I'm going to redo it. It's not perfect, but it's better. Now back to this stuff. Uh, I think the fact that I delayed maybe indicates that I want to watch like a video about how to use this. I couldn't really find a video online about this uh, self-adhesive flexible cork around. So I guess welcome to how to install self-adhesive flexible cord around. If you're arriving uh, from Google and they've fast-forwarded you to this spot, I invite you to go back and 
watch the other trim work in this video and then watch the whole series uh, as we make over this 1976 Gerdon mobile home. But for now, here's how to install flexible self-adhesive cord around. I'm going to put it here on this dishwasher and then we're going to do uh, it in the bathroom along a tub and a shower. Measure it out. Yes, I can. Do a cut with a right exact angle. This is an exact angle. I have plenty of cardboard underneath. No. So here, I don't want to stick both sides because, well, or do I? I guess I'm, so I'm only going to peel off the sticky part on one side. And I'm pretty sure this is a one-shotter, so let's get this right. Well, I guess I could have gone a little bit longer here at the end. Here in the bathroom, I started by caulking this gap, this is the expansion gap here, a couple days ago with silicon caulk. On you, uh, the manufacturer doesn't necessarily recommend that, but I saw somebody on YouTube recommending it in high water splashing areas and because this here had rotted out this area previously I went ahead and just sealed it all in now we're gonna put on this, this stuff and I think in here we'll stick it on both edges Sure, I got the measurements right before I stick it down. I'm just gonna peel off a section at a time. I think just get it started. Just press it in place. I'll start peeling it back a little bit more. A little bit more. Cut this one at an angle. I'm gonna fill this little gap too. So I cut that one at a 45 degree angle, and then this next one's gonna be a straight cut. want to hold it like it would be up against the wall and that way you can get your cuts accurate on these quarter rounds all you need is a 
basically two different kinds of cuts, a 45 and a straight. We've got some walls that aren't square, obviously that's going to be a... Or some corners that aren't 90 degrees and you're going to have to cut different than 45, but... Call that pretty good. This last one is looking like a bit of a challenge. It's uh, got a bit wider gap to, to uh, wider gap to fill in the caulking on the side. It's a little messy spots. I had to cut a second one because the first one wasn't long enough. And that actually looks pretty good. Solved the issue of the curved front. Of course, the true test will be, will it be stuck there in a year or two years or five years or ten years? I mean, this stuff was about 27 bucks on Amazon. And uh, I'll put the link in the description if I get my act together. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut a longer one to cover this bit because I got a little bit left over. It was pretty easy to pull it off. Let's see, a guy like this. No idea. Well, you know, this part's a little weird, but it covers up the hole in the floor, so that's good. Finally, I had this spot. I couldn't put trim here because we need that room to slide the fridge out uh, but I think sticking down some of this stuff would be great <laughs> what? where is Kim babe yeah there were definitely like some challenges yeah we did so many cuts so many yeah, cuts little... and we, we we figured out that we bought two different sizes of baseboards oh, perfect. so Width or height? both <laughs> just a little one was one was like an eighth of an inch thicker and a half an inch shorter mm. so. oh, that's good well then you never know right oh that's nice yeah all these little cuts that must have been murder just fyi you know before we move forward you need to to replace some of these events covers but some are a little tricky so I'm assigned that job Thank you. 
some persuasion from inside, but I got them all in. It's looking good, babe. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and tune in next time when we put up uh, bathroom fixtures, you know, the, the toilet paper holder and the rod and stuff like that. We continue to caulk and prep the baseboards for painting.